Hello there, welcome to Life After 3D. What the bloody hell has been going on in the life of Wayne Robson recently? And why has it been next to no videos for a month? Let's find out. Right, so this is one of the ones that I know some of you aren't really into, but it's more about what's going on in my life, which was the original bloody format of this entire series. So let's get into it. You'll notice there's a lav mic here. You may notice a difference in video quality and a lot of other things. Um, as I mentioned a while ago, I've been on setting up my production company, Blue Bay Productions. And I had to do a number of things. I, the first video I put, that I put out, I wasn't happy with. I didn't have the right sort of setup of gear. So I've spent the last, well, the last three, four weeks after getting uh, a small investment from somebody who wishes to be anonymous, buying the gear I need. So I'm filming this on a GH5. I'm using a Lumix 2.8, 12 to 35 lens on this. It's got IS, it's got in-body stabilization. This is intended to be my B camera, my floating camera if I'm videoing and stuff, right? Now over there, and over there on the floor, there are two Canon C100s. There's a C100 Mark I over there, which is not switched on, so don't expect to see stuff from that one. That's got a, a very nice Rode mic on it. This camera, the GH5, has got another, it's not quite as good Rode mic. And the C100 Mark II that's currently on the floor, over there, because I'm using the tripod for this, has a really lovely Sennheiser microphone. I've been upgrading stuff. I've got professional quality audio on now. I have two of the biggest, fucking heaviest tripod you will ever see, which are the newer ones. If I've got a shot of them, I'll put it up right now. Seriously, these things are good. I think they take up to eight or 10 kilos. You would sit a small toddler on this bloody fluid head and it's going nowhere. That's what you need. One of the worst things in any sort of camera footage is camera shake. Now that doesn't mean you need a stabilizer. Sometimes if it's a locked off shot, floor vibration, like if I suddenly stamp on the floor, you'll see there's no vibration on this and I'm not stabilizing this in post. That's great because it keeps everything perfect. And it's those little micro shakes that sometimes can throw things off. So it was important to have two really good tripods. Now I've been expanding a lot of the gear, a lot of the production. I'm currently working on not one, but two documentaries with a third in the works. I've been filming this last week. In fact, there's probably some footage coming up right now if I can find it. Uh, there's one of a friend of mine who's a really interesting character um, called Chris Kelly. And I have a drink with Chris quite regularly, and he's, a, you know, a very interesting guy. And he's, I got him to uh, recite a William McGonagall poem. If you don't know about William McGonagall, do a quick Google. Fantastic. You'll be amused for hours. And the second one, this bit of film I'm showing now, is from what I call the proper documentary. There's a two-part documentary that I'm making about my hometown. There was one made in the 80s. It was basically a hatchet job. It was funded by the government at the time. As the steelworks had just closed, they wanted to make it look like the town wasn't worth saving, that it was full of fucking lunatics. And to be fair, they succeeded. The town was on its arse for nearly 40 years. Now, it was always something that grind in my gears because I was in that documentary, a 14 year old me, right? And as I was the only person locally credited as a cast member, in inverted commas, the local uh, council at the time, uh, don't say council, it no longer exists, instead of taking the blame for not actually fully um, vetting this, they blamed a then 16 year old kid. So I was pursuing long grot in this town for many years. So I wanted to make something to show what the town's really like and how it's survived and grown in spite of politicians, not because of them. And the interesting people you'd walk past in the street or see on the bus, and you think, oh, he's a bit of an idiot. I bet he's not even got a job. And then you find out that he's got a degree in botany, he's an ex-Royal Marine, he's a fantastic artist, things like this. So I'm doing the first part like that. The second part, um, there's an incinerator planned on being built right close to the center of town within 450 feet of houses that are going to be pumping out nanoparticles and recent studies including one from harvard that somebody was kind enough to pass over a couple of days ago show that this has been linked to dementia cancers leukemia all sorts of nasty shit, right so that one is the one that uh, it's currently going to come out first i think because the decision on that is the end of this month either the 26th or the 28th of june although they keep moving the bloody goalposts that'll be fun uh when it's out, I'll make sure to do a special video on here. I am sort of tossing around with the idea of like not a trailer, but something to as a teaser for it at some point before then. 
So that's basically what I've been up to. That and the combination of there was like, you know, two weeks of my daughter being off school, which means you can't really be sitting here video if she's lying on the sofa behind me. I've got a really busy week coming up this week. This week's been insane with filming, all sorts of other stuff, including the stuff work for the university. Next week is even more insane. I've got Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday for the university. I'll see my son on Tuesday. And then it's going to be Friday. So I don't think I'll fit any interviews in next week. It's going to be mostly B-roll stuff. Possibly on an evening, if I can get out around golden hour. That's what's been going on, so you can watch this video here. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.